now let us discuss about arrays in javascript uh, array means a collection of elements now let us see how we can declare an array so var a is equal to uh, let us do the initialization uh, here initialization is performed in javascript in square brackets var a is equal to within the square bracket 10 comma 20 comma 30 comma 40 comma 50 now let us display the elements of the array document dot write off display the elements in the header tag next to close the header tag so there is no need to use the for loop in order to display the uh, elements of the array so let us see the output if you observe the output here the all the elements are displayed by separating with comma symbol now let us see another way of uh, uh, declaring an array an array is declared with the help of uh, new keyword and we have to use array in javascript array is treated as an object okay uh, array of let us do the initialization uh, here in javascript an array may contain similar data type elements or different data type elements also uh, let the first one is number, some integer number. Second one is a floating point number. Let the third one is a string, a string, a string. Uh, next one is a boolean value, boolean value. Now let us display the elements of the B array. So document dot write off B. Document dot write off B. So control S. Now let us uh, run the program. If you see here, uh, let us uh, uh, use the header tag so that uh, the content will be displayed in the bold fashion, bold style. Use some header tag. Next, close the header tag. Close the header tag. Which one tag? Now let us save the program and run the program run the program if you observe the output 10 2.45 so that are true okay now let us see uh, the let us display the type of the array here array is always of the type object okay let us display that uh, we know that we can display a type of uh, uh, type uh, we here we can we can use type of data type in order to know the uh, type of the data type or type of a number uh, here uh, array is uh, not a primitive data type array is a reference data type that means array is a object okay if you display b then we will get output as yes. if you observe here here we are getting output as yes. object okay likewise we can display type of a also what is the type of a a is also of the type object okay object object now let us see how we can uh, access the elements of the array uh, like C, C++, Java. Here also we can access the elements of the array with the help of uh, subscript operator. So subscript means uh, combination of left square bracket and right square bracket. Here A array contains how many elements? Five elements. Here the index of an array always starts from zero and continues up to uh, size minus 1. Here, what is the size here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, we can access the first element with the help of 0 index. Second element, 1 index. Next to 2 index, likewise. Okay. A of 2. Okay. Likewise, access uh, remaining, uh, uh, remaining elements also. A of 3. A of 4. A of 4. Now, let us display the elements of the array. Let us display the elements of the array. If you observe here, here we have got the output like 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So, if, if can we access A of 5? Here A of 5 doesn't contain any, any element. Let us access the element with the help of A of 5 and observe what is the output. And observe what is the output. A of 5 index doesn't contain any element. So, that's why we got output as undefined. Why? Because that index doesn't contain any element. So, in this way, we can access uh, elements of the array. 
next year we have a property called length property with the help of the length property uh, uh, we can determine how many elements are stored in the array so a array contains how many elements five elements so we will get output as five we will get output as five uh, now let us calculate for b also b contains how many elements four elements so let's check uh, the length of the b length of the b so control v so in place of a find the length of the b array okay so what is the length of the b so four so b array contains four elements okay uh, now let us see can we insert elements into the array uh, a of five is equal to in place of a of five uh, insert element as 600 so 600 will be inserted at a of five if we want we can update the array elements also a of zero equal to 100 next a of one is equal to 200 next a of 2 is equal to 300 previously a of 0 a of 1 a of 2 means 10 20 30 40 50 previously what is a of 0 10 a of 120 a of 230 a of 440 a of 550 here what i am doing is i am changing all the elements let us do let us change uh, those elements also only those elements only uh, so document dot write off display a now what will happen a of 0 will become 100 a of 1 200 a of 2 300 a of 3 there is no change what is a of 3 element here a what is a of 3 0 1 0 1 2 3 a of 3 means 40 only a of 4 means 50 only but in place of a of 5 we will get 600 so here the output is 100 200 300 40 50 and 600 so let us observe the output so if you observe the output, what is the output? 100, 200, 300, 40, 50, 600. Okay. So we can update the elements of the array as well as we can insert an element into the uh, array by specifying the index. If we want, we can do the deletion operation also. So delete. Let us delete element at a of 3 as well as uh, a of 4. a of 4. Now what will happen? What will happen now? Uh, what is what are the elements at 3 and 4? 40 and 50. So now 40 and 50 will get deleted and the remaining elements will be printed like 100, 200, 300 and 600. Here these elements are deleted. So that's why here we got some additional commas. Okay. So we can uh, insert the element into the array as well as we can delete the element from the array as well as we can update the element from the array. If we want, uh, we can display the elements of the array with the help of the for loop also. So for where i is equal to, we know that index of the array always starts from 0, i less than. In order to know the number of elements present in the array, we use as length property i plus plus. Now let us do the display. Control dot. Now we have to display element by element. So is use index value. So now what will happen? First a of 0 will be printed, next a of 1, a of 2, a of 3, a of 4. Likewise the elements will be printed. Okay. Uh, let us run the program. So if you observe the output, so 100, 200, 300. Uh, here we don't have, uh, those elements are deleted. The elements at a of 3 as well as a of 4 got deleted. So that's why uh, undefined is printed. Next 600 is printed. So this is about uh, introduction to array in JavaScript such as how to create an array next next how to know the type of the an array next to how to access elements present in the array how to determine the maximum how to determine the number of elements present in the array as well as how we can do insertion deletion and updation and how we can display the elements of the array with the help of the for loop okay